Hello, in today's video, I'm going to show you a thrift haul from the thrift with me that I showed you a few days ago when I went to the new to me thrift store called Finders Keepers. Here we go. Hello you all, I am out on my porch. Can you even believe it? It's only March 3rd. We have had a lovely day. It was 50 degrees here, which is unheard of for Minnesota. So we're all in shorts. No. <laughs> But we all are outside, like we went for a walk. It's been just lovely. So anyway, I thought I would go ahead and show you what I got when I went with Molly. Now, she is back to college. I told you she was home. Now she's back to college. And so she has her things. She got about six tops, I think, like a sweatshirt and some different tops. You know Molly and her clothes. She likes her clothes. But she does also go through her clothing. Nobody worry. <laughs> Um, okay, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. I spent a total of $40 on my things, which I thought was a very good price. I don't really know what I paid for everything because a lot of things don't have prices, but we'll just go ahead and look at it and know that the whole thing cost 40 bucks. Some things have prices, but most don't. And I just got through the thrift haul. I'm inserting this here because I forgot to say it in the beginning. I have blue paint in my nails. My nails are not dirty, but uh, I got blue paint underneath them the other day and I haven't been able to get it out. So if you notice that during the video, I do not have dirty fingernails. I just have blue fingernails. So anyway, all right, here we go to the thrift haul. Okay, some of the bigger things. I'm super excited about this. So if you've watched, maybe it was on this channel. I don't know. I've mentioned wanting like an arch thing. This is smaller um, than I was looking for, but I'm still going to use this somewhere. I don't think it'll be in the same place I was thinking, but it has this little um, like candle holder thing. That, so this little shelf pops out and holds this. I don't think you have to use it for a candle though. You could potentially do like florals in there too. So I'm going to think through that. I am definitely painting this part white. I know that's boring and some people will roll their eyes, but that's fine. It's my house. <laughs> And so I'm going to paint this white and leave this black. I'll just clean it up a little bit. Um, I think that'll be a nice contrast. So that's my plan for that. The price on that was $5.50. Maybe I paid that. I have no idea. And the other thing I got that was kind of bigger is this little breakfast and bed tray. I love these things. I had one for Maddie's room, which was like our guest room before Maddie came home from college. Sorry, I'm losing my light, but that's fine. Um, but I thought this one might be cute. I'm definitely going to paint it up, maybe do something with my Cricut on top. That was really cute. And I have no idea how much I paid for that. I think she was charging me a dollar for anything that didn't have a price. I have no idea. It's a little family run business. I know some of you had mentioned uh, Crazy Lamp Lady goes to something called Finders Keepers in Pennsylvania. I don't think it's the same thing. I don't know. Um, to me, this place here in Minnesota seems like a little family owned operation. It used to be an Amish furniture store and then they left and now this other family came in. So, so I don't know if it's the same place, if it's a franchise, I don't know. But to me, it seems like a little family operation. So, okay, Molly found me two things. Well, two things when she was off on her own. She got, she found these, which I thought were so cute. They're just like these little shoes. I don't know. I just think they're kind of different. They say $3.52. I, I doubt that I paid that much for them. And then she found me this little can. It's a repro little Hershey's Kisses can. And I thought that would be really cute in my like 4th of July displays. It says a dollar too. Okay. And then on to my box. I got this. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. The flower could use a little help. I don't know. I might just try to clean it. It's kind of pretty and it looks old, you know? So I kind of like it. I don't really know what I'll do with this. Um, maybe put florals in it. I don't really know. I just thought it was kind of cute. It's a little like wire purse, I guess I would call it. I'll probably use this in my bedroom. Um, I have like a on my dresser, I have like a three-tiered basket thing with lots of little old compacts and makeup things and some travel clocks. It's very cute. So I might put it there. Like, I don't know. It just reminds me of like a lady's vanity kind of thing. So that's what I'll probably do with that. Oh, I got to sneeze. Oh, with spring comes allergies. Okay. Then I got this just because I thought it was really cute. And look at the old like stickers on it. I'm going to try to clean it up. I don't really want to paint it. I just want to clean it up. I, I like the look of it. So 
I don't know where I'll use this. I might put a plant. I might, I might uh, do a thick coat of like polyurethane or two, um, making sure to get it on the bottom and possibly use it on my porch with a plant on it was one of my ideas because it is in kind of rough shape but I'd like to like freeze it, you know, like, so it doesn't get any worse. So that's what I might do. Or I could do the same thing, like, and use it in, inside my house with a plant on it. I don't know. So I'm not going to change this though. I, I just think it's charming. Like clearly someone, you know, DIY'd it at some point in time. And I just think it's charming. So, okay, let's see. I got the picture. Of course I did. <sighs> And I'm just going to use this for exactly what I said is lemonade in the summer in my fridge. So, oh, I love this. I love this so much. I, don't, I, I think this flag is upside down, but it's just this cutie little um, corsage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. <sighs> this might be one of my favorite things. I actually forgot about it until I just remembered. I'm going to stick. I'm going to take the flag. Oh, maybe there. Maybe that's how it was. We're going to pretend that's how it was. Isn't that adorable? Not that I'm going to wear it, but it's so cute. Ha, I love that. So that'll go on my 4th of July patriotic. I always say 4th of July. It's really like Memorial Day to 4th of July. I kind of do that whole thing. Okay. I got these and these will probably stick in my shop. It's the croc of coasters. I don't think this is, well, maybe it was. I guess it's got some crud on it. I need to clean up. This looks very clean though. And um, the coasters are in good shape. And this is exactly how the cheese crocs open. I have real cheese crocs. So, and this is what the coasters look like. I just thought it was like, you know, cute 70s kind of 80s style thing. So that I will probably clean up and put in my shop. When I say clean up, it has these little marks here. So I just need to clean those up, but it's in its box. And it says, made in Hong Kong for Denton Sales, Dallas, Texas. So, okay. And let's see. Oh, I got some good things. Sorry, allergies. I got these just for my crafting. Just a box of spindles. Again, I have no idea how much she charged me for these. It just says Vancouver spindles. So, I mean, these are great for tiered trays, especially. That's one thing I like to make risers you can cut them down and use them as shorter things you know. so i thought that would be just a good supply to have oh i got this i love this it's edgings book number 149 price 10 cents to crochet and knit the copyright date is 1940 so i don't know the printing date but oh my gosh look at these graphics this is fantastic so i love that so much adorable and then, ah, uh, I got this. I thought this is cute for like spring decor. It looks kind of like a little fairy. It's an angel. You know, I like angels, but like she has a flower on her head. I don't know. Someone explained it to me. I don't really understand, but it's cute. And there was only one. I was hoping there would be two, but there wasn't. There was only one. And I got this. It's, um, I don't know what is it coffee i don't i don't know what was in here i don't know what these words say is that cafe dough is that like coffee or something oh arabica yeah it must be coffee it reminds me of a cheese box and that's probably how i will use it if you've seen my instagram in my displays like you know i'll put like flower frogs and vintage cards and other junk <laughs> i like to arrange in my little boxes my cheese boxes so i'm thinking that i will use this in the same way and I got this, which seems funny. It says Farmyard Friends, The Pampered Chef, 1994. The reason I got it is I have that air dry paper clay. If you watched my DIY a few weeks ago, I can link it here. I did a DIY with this paper clay and you can actually make shapes out of the paper clay and then glue them onto things. So this is a cute little like duck, but I love the pig, the sheep, and a goat, I think that is. So that's what I was thinking is like, I could make um, little emblems of this and then put them on like crafts. So, so I got this to use as like a crafting supply. I guess it's meant to make cookies. I don't know. I'm guessing Pemper Chef used, to, they, I know they make like Christmas ones. So I'm guessing that's what this was originally for, but I'm going to use it in my crafting stash. 
I got this, which I thought was cool. I think it's an old whisk, although I'm not entirely certain. But that was kind of cool. And I got this. This will go to my shop. I have several of these. We actually use ours. Chris just used ours the other night. He made lentils. That's something we like to make. And he used it to chop the onion. We like to chop the onion in here because then it doesn't make you cry as much. <laughs> but I have a pink one and a blue one and a white one that we use. Uh, so I don't need another one. So I'll put this in my shop. There's another white one in my shop already. So, And what else? Oh, there's some goodies. I think this is an old ice cream scoop. It says something red. Uh, ne Wow, Nevco maybe? Japan? Here's the mark. I think that says Nevco, but I'm not entirely certain. But I thought that was cool. I got these two. You heard me mention I was looking for some of these for my bedroom. These I know, well, the box said 25 cents a piece. So I have some uh, candle holders that I'm going to use these for um, in my bedroom. And I got these because my friend gave me from her childhood her uh, orange juice pitcher, like a glass pitcher. And these are the, the gla juice glasses that go with it, which I didn't have any before. So I'm super excited about these. Do they stack? Oh, they do. They kind of stack. So those are really cute. They're not marked. They say 50 cents. I don't know if that's true. I got this little guy. Little left, is it left in? Oh, it just says made in occupied Japan. But it, you know, that's my pink. That's the pink that I love. So I will just stick that somewhere in a display because it's the color that I love. I got these little poodles. They do not have their mama, but I'll probably just stick these in my shop. Um, figurines sell very well at the little pink elephant shop. And then I got these for my own collection because you know, I collect these miniature dogs. Whoops. So. He's really cute. And this one, I guess he's like a bull, like a Frenchie, a bulldog maybe. So those, those are really cute. And I did not get any thermoses. I know you're surprised, but I do have quite a collection. I love my collection, and but I'm being very particular about what I purchased. Now I really could have gotten some to put in the shop. And honestly, I just didn't even think about it. Next time I'm down there, maybe I'll see if they're still there. But, um, what can you do? The, probably the only one I would have picked up for my shop is the brown striped one. That's not one that I would like, but um, I think there's resale value to it. I just didn't think of it at the time. I'm not always thinking like a reseller, you know, because it's not my primary purpose. So anyway, um, but I did pick up this. It's just a little thermos cup that went on top of one of the thermoses. So I don't know which one. It wasn't on any. It was just in the box. So I thought that was cool. And that I will put in, into my collection. And I got this to redo. But this has a lot of possibilities. You could do like some, you could use it to hold something, you know, like in the kitchen, utensils, whatever. You could make a faux match holder. Um, you know, you could do a mail holder, a desk organizer. I mean, there's tons of things you could do. You could even turn it like this, put a handle on it and have it be like a vintage scoop that would be cute huh that would be cute that looks like a scoop doesn't it so we'll see what i decide to do with it i don't know but i thought it was useful all right getting down to the bottom i got some vintage poker chips i pick these up when i see them gabe thinks they're cool so got those and i got some vintage dominoes double six let's open these up and see what they like i think molly opened them on the on the video, but in case you didn't see it, I'll link that video in my description box. Oh, there's, oh, these are cool. Oh, I did not pay attention to the picture. There's the picture and they do actually have what looks like a skyscraper of some sort on them. See that? There we go. Isn't that cool? And they look to be all here. So that's pretty cool. Whoopsie Daisy, I am. I'm gonna, there we go. Okay, got it up. All right, and I got these. Oh, these are so cool. 19, oh, 1965. Whoa, 1965 Miller Studio. I think these are really pretty swans. Very cool. So, those are neat. Those are neat. 
Oh, and then oh, some of my favorites right here at the end. I got her. I'm going to try to make... Um, someone said they used something for wings. What did one of you say? Ribbon? I can't remember. I do have one of her wing. Although, you know, I don't even think this is her wing. Is it? No, this... It, the finish is even different. I don't think this is her wing. So maybe I will try to fashion her some wings from... Because I don't know if you can tell, but she's like a bisque almost. And this is like shiny ceramic. So to me, this looks like it's from a different angel. Um, so I can just make her some wings. But I thought she was really cute. I don't have June. So I thought that was adorable. And then I love this. I really need to clean it. Okay, this is attached. I didn't mess with it too much because I had the camera. I need to clean this out. But I've never seen this before. It says left in China, hand painted something patent office 827 first of all this is gorgeous i think and then inside is a flower frog so i will soak this and try to clean it up this is for me um i will pro oh it's so pretty i'll probably put this in my bathroom maybe i'm thinking that's probably where i'll put it it has my colors this is a little more blue i do more aqua than blue but Anyway. Okay, and that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I found at Finders Keepers, and I will see you Friday for a thrift with me and thrift haul. We'll get back to doing the two things together. I might throw a bonus in on Saturday this week because I have a series of videos I need to get through. I went thrifting with my friend Kate. So I want to get those videos out to you and uh, I will see you soon. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.